Organic is a term that's tossed around a lot. There's organic produce, organic meat, organic beauty products, and even just organic matter. But what does organic really mean, and when is it important? In this video, I'm going to help bridge the gap between what we hear about organics and what it actually means. Hi, I'm Izzy from Southland Organics, where we provide natural solutions to natural problems for lawn, garden, and coop care. Learn more about these solutions at southlandorganics.com. At Southland Organics, the meaning of organic is important to us. I mean, it's literally in our name, but the term organic is a lot more complicated than most people seem to think. It's commonly used as a blanket term to signal that a product is healthier, safer, and better for the environment. But is that always true? Before we start, I just wanna say that this video is not exhaustive by any means. Organic food is a big topic with a lot of points to be made, and I'm just gonna explore a few of them here. Let's start with the significance of the word. Organic itself just means containing carbon, something that is living or was living. Considering this definition, we can identify a lot of organic things around us. Leaves are organic, grass is organic, fruit is organic. Almost 20% of my body weight is carbon, so even I'm organic. If you studied organic chemistry, you know this and a lot more about the chemical properties of organic matter. Now, let's move on from the literal meaning of organic and talk about food. Food items from broccoli to potato chips can be labeled as organic. For a food item to claim to be organic in the US, it has to contain 95% organic ingredients, not counting salt or water. Non-certified organic labeling is as vague as it seems. And in non-food products like makeup and skincare, the word organic on the label means even less. In some cases, organic is little more than a buzzword. Loosely regulated language that basically anyone can use on their label. Marketers, like me, can just slap this term on a package so that people associate their product with what society associates with the term organic. Healthy, safe, and sustainable. But I want to distinguish organic from certified organic. While using the word organic on a food item has vague meaning, a food item with a certified organic seal does actually have meaning. There are various regulatory boards across the US and other countries that certify products as being organic, and they do have a strict set of rules that can qualify an item as organic. As an example, let's go over what USDA certified organic means. The USDA is the most widely known and used organic certification in the US. The USDA's organic standards are based on the entire system of farming, soil quality, animal raising practices, pest and weed control, and the use of additives in processing. Farmers have to document their process and get inspected annually to make sure they're meeting these standards. So what are the standards? Here are the basics. Certified organic produce must be grown on soil that hasn't had any synthetic fertilizers or pesticides on it for at least three years. Certified organic meat must come from animals raised in living conditions that accommodate their natural behaviors, that eat organic feed, and that are not given hormones or antibiotics. For more specifics on organic eggs, check out our video on what cage-free eggs really mean. Certified organic multi-ingredient foods must meet these standards and are also not allowed to have artificial preservatives, colors, or flavors. Any type of food with the USDA organic certification cannot contain genetically modified organisms or GMOs. Farmers can't use genetically modified seeds when growing organic produce, and food producers can't use any ingredients that come from genetically modified crops. Why? Basically because there has been very poor communication on what GMOs are, which has made many people confused about them. Confusion leads to fear, and fear leads to the banning of a really innovative technology that promotes sustainable farming in many ways. But that's a topic for another video that we hope to make later this year. So now we know the difference between organic and certified organic. Let's go a little deeper. One major reason people choose to eat organic produce is out of concern for ingesting pesticides. Many synthetic pesticides are made with harsh chemicals that could be harmful for your health, and about 75% of conventionally farmed produce does have traces of these pesticides on it after washing. However, not all conventionally farmed produce is grown with the same amount of pesticides. Some actually have very little trace pesticides by the time you wash or peel them. Every year, Environmental Working Group, or EWG, publishes a Clean 15 and Dirty Dozen list based on the produce that have the most and least pesticide residues. Here are the Clean 15 for 2023. Avocados, sweet corn, pineapples, onions, papayas, sweet peas, asparagus, honeydew, kiwi, cabbage, mushrooms, mangoes, sweet potatoes, watermelon, and carrots. 
65% of samples from these fruits and vegetables had no detectable pesticide residue after preparation. So as far as ingesting pesticides goes, these 15 are almost the same as their organic counterparts. Now here are the dirty dozen for 2023. Strawberries, spinach, kale, collard and mustard greens, peaches, pears, nectarines, apples, grapes, bell and hot peppers, cherries, blueberries, and green beans. These produce have the highest occurrence and concentration of pesticide residue after preparation. Did any of those surprise you? One important note is that if a fruit or vegetable is listed on the Dirty Dozen, it does not mean you shouldn't eat it. All 12 of the items on this list have great health benefits and can be part of a nutritious diet. Just wash them as best as you can. And if you have the budget to buy some organic produce and are concerned about pesticides, the Dirty Dozen would be the best ones to prioritize. One concern with switching conventional farms to certified organic farms is that organic farms typically have significantly lower yields and can be more expensive for consumers. This is okay to an extent, but if all farms became organic, we likely would not have enough food to feed our growing population. Now, let's talk about how the organic got into Southland Organics. For us, it starts with organic matter. Most of our products are based on organic matter. They bring life to lawns, gardens, and even poultry guts in the form of healthy microbes. Also, technically, all our products meet the qualifications to be labeled as organic products. Our products Jumpstart, Big Ol' Bird, and Litter Life are WSDA certified organic, and our chicken manure fertilizer is OMRI listed for organic use. Why aren't the other products certified organic? Well, it's an expensive and time-consuming process. We're a small business and the resources necessary to keep up with certifications for our growing line of products are just more than we want to spend on a stamp for our labels. We know our products are organic, safe, natural, and good for the earth. You can look at the ingredients and see this, and we're happy to answer questions about our products if you ever have them. Now, all of these thoughts are just to say that organic is much more complex than what meets the eye. Organic practices often promote soil biodiversity, soil health, and less harmful chemicals in the environment. But organic does not always mean healthier, safer, or more environmentally friendly. And we haven't even discussed the tricky affordability of organic produce for many of us. Neither organic nor conventional farming methods are perfect. Organic is not always better, conventional is not always worse, and it's likely that a blend of organic and conventional methods is what's best to balance impact on the earth with the need to feed our growing population. At Southland Organics, we're happy to be able to support farmers, business owners, and homeowners alike grow plants, grass, and chickens with safe, natural products that address natural problems on a microbial level. Whether conventional or organic, we're here to support you with whatever you grow. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at izzy at southlandorganics.com, call 800-608-3755, or comment on this video. Keep up with us on social media at Southland Organics. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you can take this information, go out there and make the best decisions for you and your family.